I wasn't going to make a video on the Red Wings game last night because it didn't get over until around 12 o'clock my time here in Halifax. I'd already recapped the Leafs game at that point. Obviously, all 32 teams played last night. There was just a lot going on. But thanks to one of the most outrageous missed calls I think I have ever seen in my life, we have to talk about the Red Wings and Kraken game from last night. Let's jump all the way towards the end of the second period. It was 2-1 to one for the Kraken at this point. The Red Wings were buzzing around the offensive zone, trying to tie things up. And as you can see here, Alex Dabrinkit gives Ole Mata a nice cross ice pass, looking to set him up for a one-timer. This was shaping up to be a very high quality scoring chance for Ole Mata. However, Jaden Schwartz, who was out of position on this play, he lost his man back door, lays out and actually throws his stick into the passing lane and manages to break up this play. As I'm sure most of you know, throwing your stick anywheres on the ice is an automatic minor penalty. However, doing it in the defensive zone is supposed to be an automatic penalty shot. Shot. This play would go uncalled, and to make matters worse, to rub salt in the wound for the Red Wings, shortly after this missed call, Ty Karchi was sprung on a breakaway and gave the Kraken a 3-1 lead. Now, I'm not somebody who complains about refs very often. I understand that human error is a part of the game, but in a game where the refs managed to call 11 total minor penalties, there was 11 power plays in this game, one of which was a penalty on Ben Sherratt for not immediately leaving the ice when he lost his helmet, a rule that was enforced all of once last season. The fact they missed a throwing the stick penalty that was that obvious at that point in the game is just baffling to me. Red Wings head coach Derek Malone did say that the referee actually came to him after the second period and apologized, so that's good, I guess. Despite this loss, there still was a lot of positive takeaways for the Red Wings. They faced adversity heading into the third period, and they had not faced a lot of that so far early on this season, so it was nice to see them bounce back and come out flying in the third period. Ironically, they rattled off three consecutive power play goals to take a 4-3 lead. Shane Gossespierre got points on all three of those power play goals. Cannot say enough good things about him and how great he's been for the Wings early on this season. The Red Wings power play was 3-6 for six in this game. A nice bounce back from going 0-5 for five last game against the Flames. The Kraken would end up tying this game late with the goaltender pulled and on, you guessed it, a power play. And the Kraken would end up taking this one in overtime as Jared McCann found Jordan Eberle wide open out front to finish things off with about two seconds left in the overtime period. This goal came off of a really chaotic play. There was bodies crashing in each corner. So the Kraken take this one, a final score of 5-4. to four. A Seattle Kraken offense that was ice cold early on this season finally breaks through, puts up 5. This was a much needed win for them. They pick up their second win of the season and improve to 2-4-1 and one, and the Red Wings fall to 5-1-1. One, and one. Seattle deserved the win in this one. In my opinion, they were the better team. I'm not pinning this loss on the refs. I'm not saying if that penalty shot call was made for the throwing the stick penalty, the outcome would have been any different. I just thought it was an out outrageous missed call considering all the calls that were made in this game so i wanted to give my thoughts on it if you guys enjoyed today's video please be sure to leave it a like that is the best way to show your support as always i want to know your thoughts and let me know how you feel about the missed call down below in the comments and most importantly if this was your first time checking out the channel and you want nhl content just like this all year round hit that subscribe button if you're an nhl fan this is the place to be and i'll talk to you all soon